Continuing on with the icon basics, a couple of other things that you can do is if you wanted to shut down or clear their desktops, again, I can hit Control A and I can come up here and I can stop anything that's going on or clear their desktops from what they're going. If you give it a second there, it shuts down everything they were doing. Under this icon, the show video, if you want all of the students to watch a video that you have downloaded on your own computer, you can click here and you can then browse to the video that you have. And I do have one, a couple on my desktop. You can click to those, click open, and you can say transfer video to student and begin playing, transfer, transfer and don't begin playing, or play a previously transferred video on the student folders. And this is where it's going to stay save in a folder called C Land School Documents. And hit start, and we're just going to have it played just to see what happens. And as you can see, it, it has now opened up on all of the student computers at one time. And I would say in these cases, you might want to have headphones. Okay, now as the video is playing, and if you want them to stop, you can just come up here and hit cancel, and they will stop. And we can just close out of the window. We're going to skip class lists for now. For files, you can send and receive files for the students. You can click on send files, browse to where the file is. Put the file in the student, the C Land School files. Same thing, you can retrieve the files. And it's a, just have the students place it in the same place, and you can collect it from them just as easily. You can also shut down, log off, restart, and um, the student computers from here. You can co browse the internet with the students if you like and to maybe demonstrate a web page with them, kind of similar to show your screen. Here's a feature. If you want to choose random students, you can click on the random generator, and it will go through the list of logged on computers, and it will pick one. If you've had new students come in or leave, you can hit the refresh button. And that's just about it for all of the icons right now. Thank you.